Hi guys, welcome back to Julius and Vlog the Creator for this video reaction guys. Let's go to Russia once again, Pasiba to our Russian friends and I know that uh, some of you knows already the borders of Russia, it was bordered by uh, 14 countries that would be Azerbaijan, Belar Belarus, China, Estonia, Finland, Georgia, Kazakhstan, North Korea, Latvia, Lithuania, Mongolia, Norway, Poland and Ukraine and you can see the title of my video actually that this is, they really have a secret walls to guard with themselves because a lot, imagine of 14 like borders that you have to protect for your own country also because we know Russia how strong we were so that's why they really have to get some like to hire higher than uh, like a human that would be higher than consider as a human because of their smell that you can uh, really smell like far from uh, as what you expected and the title of this video that we need to do some reaction for today is Volko Subi, the Russian powerful and secret wolf dogs and uh, credit to the owner also with the video Animal Watch I'll put it in the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video and if you're new to my channel just click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads and if you have some comments suggestions related to this video guys or any Russian or any video that you can suggest drop it on the comment section I'd like to read and respond to you all and your video request and allow me to read some information with this video guys because this is so interesting why they really have to get and where they get this uh, secret wolf dogs Russia embarked on a breeding program in the late 1990s to create a super powerful border control wolf dog called the Volkos B or Volkosov Volkosov B or Volkosov they are so secretive that you can't even own one Oh my god, I think this is one of the uh, the dogs that you cannot own as your pet unless you are part of the Russia's police force or army. Mm. Anika explores the, Vol the Volkosov and discovers why this wolf dog is deemed to be one of the world's most power powerful wolf dog. Wow, this is so interesting. I'm so excited to watch this one and I know you guys so let's get to it and enjoy have fun watching with this amazing video and let's let me know also at the comment section at the end of this video what are your thoughts with regards with this russian secret wolf dogs hello and welcome to animal watch and this week we will be talking about the beautiful secretive and powerful wolf dogs of the russian army oh wow the volkosobi or Volkos the volkosobs ah volkosobi and volkosobs Wow, this is the way how she speaks also like I the introduction. She's so nice. Oh, these are the family of wolf dogs. Why there are lines? The life of a border patrol officer is a difficult one. Really? Truly. Protecting Russia's borders may be one of the toughest jobs on the planet. Of course. Russia Just... has vast boundaries. Inhospitable terrain. Is, and like, some slope. extreme weather conditions. That's why they really have to get that However, uh, secret wolf dog. The Russian Border Patrol can... has some unique recruits to safeguard their borders. No matter what the weather conditions, the the, these secret wolves, aka the Bolka Sobs, large, powerful, beautiful, and yeah. fearless. Because they can adapt any weather conditions. Like Scientists and animal experts at Russia's Perm Institute for Internal Troops developed the wolf dog program in the late 1990s. They wanted to create a dog breed with the explicit purpose of guarding the Russian borders after the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. Oh, and so really? birthed the Bolkasov breeding program. The first 200 wolf dog puppies bred at the University of Cologne were considered to be a failure as they all expressed the typical wolf characteristics of extreme fearful caution around humans. So they really have good training. However, their luck changed when in the year 2000, scientists sourced a female Caspian sea wolf, otherwise known as a steppe wolf, from a man who was going to kill and mount her as a trophy. 
Her name was Nader. The steppe wolf, otherwise known as the Caspian sea wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to the Caspian steppes. It is slightly smaller than the Eurasian wolf and has a sparser, shorter coat, which comes in desert colours to blend in with their surroundings. Well, this Nader, this female they really steppe just... they had discovered, was sociable to humans with a friendly disposition, which meant that she was a perfect choice for the breeding program. Wow. Now when Nader was presented with a dog or a wolf as potential breeding partners, she chose the dog over the wolf as her mate. Over the next decade, Nader gave birth to at least 40 wolf dogs that shared Nader's wolf instincts, combined wow. with their German Shepherd father's friendliness and obedience to humans. These 40 Volkasovs were used to further propagate the breed, and the percentage of wolf content was finally reduced down to 25%, which is one quarter wolf and three quarters dog. Wow, Russian very wolf dogs interesting. take on a variety really? of specialized tasks. Some are trained specifically to track mines, others are trained in drugs and alcohol detection, and every yeah. checkpoint has three or four tracker wolf dogs. Wolf dogs in training guard the perimeter, guaranteeing very absolutely that no one has any chance whatsoever of getting past them. Correct. They can smell, they can sense. Wolf dogs are friendly, work-loving creatures, and they have excelled on dog training programs, regularly outperforming full-blood dogs. Nice. The German Shepherd is viewed as one of the best dogs to use in military and law enforcement. Right. However, the according German to the Russian Shepherd. army, the Balkasobs make them look like untrained puppies. While the dogs would take four minutes to find a hidden criminal, the Balkasovs were able to do that in 15 to 20 seconds. Wow, that's fast. While the dogs were skittish and liked to run around in the training grounds before starting work, the Balkasovs cut right to the chase. They Whoa. exhibited this focus even in alien environments and could easily find drugs, bombs and criminals. Oh, wow, really? The reasons behind that is science. The Volkazobs have keener sense of smell over six times sharper wow. and have a superior grip that can bite through layers of protective winter clothing. Wow, that's really interesting. This is like, oh my God, higher Their than the German genes also mean that they can survive the frigid climbs yeah. and show great stamina and mental ability in adverse conditions. Wow. According to sources, they can track a scent for two days before tiring. <laughs> he knows it. Trainers also report that Bravo. the Volkasovs are more aggressive than the dogs in man training. While a dog usually goes for an arm, the Volkasovs attack the arm first, but then move to the more vulnerable areas like the neck or groin, the kill bite. With a border security force like this, it is no wonder that Chinese criminals have been quoted as saying that dealing with Bolkasobs is their worst nightmare. Yeah. So what is the difference between the Bolkasobs and the Czechoslovakian wolf dog? Well, the Czechoslovakian wolf dog was developed by the Czechoslovakian army in 1955 yeah. using a Carpathian European wolf and their own border guard patrol German shepherds. The Balkasobs were developed much later in 2000 by the Russian army using the smaller steppe wolf and their own border control German shepherds. Both breeds are approximately 25% wolf blood and 75% German shepherd, but come from completely separate breeding programs. You can purchase a Czechoslovakian wolf dog across Europe, but it is near to impossible to own a Balkasobi as the oh, Russian military does not sell them, allowed, yeah. though a highly trained one can cost upwards of $2,000 oh. when sold internally. That's very expensive. The Russian and army it... does, however, lease the Volkasovs to local security organizations, but under very strict control. Some are now part of the special forces. If you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch, then please give us 
a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Indeed. where we bring you weekly it's... episodes on dogs, wolf dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. <laughs> Bye for now. Wow, really that's interesting. Allow me to put in here, guys. That was very interesting and very incredible. Like, you cannot own like this uh, do dog. And it's not just like very expensive, although a lot of people can, uh, can afford. But they cannot own with this one because it's so only for the Russian. This is interesting. And this dog, then, uh, they will train only like maybe in a few days and then they go straight. Or might be, it's not go for training because that would be their instinct directly that they can sense everything that they will like train into and such a fantastic and it's good information also of course uh, a country that is a very strong and powerful nation you really have to protect with your the borders or your country itself because you know you have a lot of enemies to <laughs> like a lot of enemies that surrounds in your country and that's why they really have to protect the country this is such an amazing video it's such an interest also sometimes this dog can help to protect our country to protect ourselves that's why there, there are a lot of people that they are just petting with dogs because they can uh, pro uh, protect and help with them the bolkosobi or the bolkosob are very very nice i wish that uh, i know a lot of people wanting to have this like one thank you so much animal watch for this amazing video about the bolkosob and then the russian powerful secret world dogs and it really helps for this country especially to Russia and thank you so much guys and I hope you enjoyed watching with this one and if you want to see the full video it's in the description box below and if you like this video guys same as I did just give a massive thumbs up like and share subscribe also with my channel and this is Junris Plagadagri at saying say humble say positive guys passive to our Russian friends and if you want to see my second channel is in the description box below also and if you have some comments suggestion related to this video guys drop it on the comment section I'd love to read and respond your all and make your video requests Bye bye guys, see you on my next video reaction. Have a good day everyone.